Hey, we have here today a problem from UNSW 2021. This is from the final round, problem number two. We have the integral of e to the sine x times tan x secant x plus one dx. Okay, let's get started with this. Before I do anything, I wanna actually multiply this inside the parentheses. And so let me do a rewrite. And then I wanted to look at it this way. Because now we have two terms that we're adding and what it tells me is this could be a case where we could use the reverse product rule. And I checked and that would actually work to actually just find that this is actually the product rule that we have one term that if we multiply it out, use the product rule, we get this whole thing back. But I've done a bunch of problems that way. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna to try to do it using integration by parts. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just split this into two integrals and let's see what we have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna focus on one of these integrals. And I'm actually gonna focus on the first one for our integration by parts, just because I noticed that secant times tan, we actually know the integral of this, the integral of, of just this piece here is gonna be secant. So what I can do is we'll set up our di table. No, it's not, that's poor spacing. <laughs> so for integration by parts, what I'm gonna do is I wanna use the di, met DI method or tabular integration. So we're gonna have two columns one to differentiate and one to integrate. And I'm gonna differentiate e sine of x, because that's fine to differentiate, and we'll integrate tan x secant x, just because we know how to handle that one. And then we'll integrate tan x secant x, and we'll just have the integral, that's just secant x. And then here, the derivative of this, okay, this is gonna be e sine of x, but we need the chain rule. So then we'll take the derivative of sine x, which is gonna be just cosine x, probably should have wrote it over there, but whatever. Okay, so we have part of our answer right here. Let's just write down everything we have. So we have this diagonal as part of our answer. So we have e sine x uh, times the secant x. Then we're gonna have this integral here. So we're gonna be subtracting minus, but cosine x times secant x is just one. The secant x is one over cosine x. So those terms cancel, and we just have the integral of e sine x dx. But then going back to our problem here, we're evaluating this whole thing. So we need to include this. So we have, we're adding e to the sine x dx, but this integral and this integral are exactly the same and we're subtracting it. So this will cancel. We'll just have a zero there. And so then our final solution is just going to be this piece. So we're going to have e sine x secant x plus c and that's it. Good problem from UNSW 2021. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.